Hi, I'm Tina with the League of Women Voters of Texas. On November 2nd, there will be an election covering proposed changes to the Texas Constitution. Proposition 8 would expand eligibility so that surviving spouses of members of the military who are killed in the line of duty benefit from the same exemption from property taxes that is currently given to spouses of military members killed in action. So, if their death was due to injuries that are not combat related, such as in a training exercise, it would still be considered a result of their military duties. This exemption is for the property tax on the market value of the spouse's residence homestead if the spouse has not been remarried. Arguments for this amendment are that, first, this amendment would correct an oversight in current law to include surviving spouses of the military who were killed in the line of duty rather than in action. Also, these additional surviving spouses have suffered the loss of their partner because of their military service and should be provided the same benefit. Third, death in combat for our country's soldiers should not be a determining factor on whether we honor their military service by providing relief for their spouse. Opponents say, this amendment will reduce tax revenues to districts, to school districts, counties, cities, and special districts by lowering property value. Many more military are killed in the line of duty than are killed in action. The estimated potential loss of tax revenue could be significant. Second, any lower property values could decrease revenue and affect the state school funding formula. Also, this amendment would expand property tax exemption to another group of people, which could increase the tax burden for other property owners. Thank you for taking the time to become more informed about the upcoming election.